Hey, I'm Spectre Ball. I'm a gothic musician and also an occultist. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Goetia attributes or any spirits for that matter. It doesn't matter if it's a jinn, it doesn't matter if it's the Goetia or anything that has to do with the spirit world. But before we do that, consider subscribing, click on that notification bell to be alerted when a new video is available. So, in this video, I am holding a frame drum. Now, I bought this frame drum. Uh, I actually have no idea where I bought this frame drum. I don't remember. It was so long ago. But I bought it for rituals. Drums are used a lot for rituals. If you have any drums that you use for your rituals, make sure you put them in the comments down below. I would love to hear about it. So this frame drum is really good when I was working with Kali or cleansing the space. So if I wanted to cleanse the space, I would start playing the drums and thinking in my mind that I am cleansing the space that I am in. Before contacting any types of spirits, make sure you cleanse the space. It's very important. Singing bowls, incense, sage, copal, anything. So, attributes of spirits, specifically goetic spirits, or any spirits. You probably have opened the book before and it would talk about a certain spirit. Let's say, Baal. And it would say that it would do certain things and it can do certain things. Then you would flip over to another spirit, King Paimon. It would say certain things that the spirit could do and so on. The thing is, look at it as a grain of salt. Why? Because sometimes I've contacted spirits that I asked to um, help me in certain things in this world, and it sometimes didn't work. Why? There's many things that magic might not work. Maybe not the right headspace. Maybe the spirit can't do the thing that it says it can, and that's okay. I feel that it's better to ask the spirit what attributes it has. Of course, get to know the spirit first. Don't just meet the spirit and say, hey, what attributes do you have when the spirit doesn't know you? No, that's going to be rude. <laughs> Imagine somebody knocking at your door and you're opening the door and the first thing you say is, what attributes do you have? Well, yeah, it's not, it's not good. It's better to know the spirit before than ask it about its attributes. Most of the time, the attributes are correct about the spirit. But sometimes the attributes are not written. There are many times that I've contacted a spirit and I found out more things that the spirit can do than I didn't know. I'll give you a really good example. Now, Pazuzu. Pazuzu to me is a very wise spirit. I would consider him a spirit of Kether in the Tree of Life. Bright, enlightened, but it's not written anywhere. All that is written about Pazuzu that I have seen so far is that he can bring disease and he is kind of part of the abyss. So make sure when you contact the spirit and you get to know the spirit, ask it for its attributes. Anyway, I hope this helps you out and I will see you in the next video.